Hello and welcome to a new player review. So for this video, we're going to have a look at the end of season six uh, player choices, uh, which is available for anyone that was grinding as hard as me uh, to reach. Uh, now uh, you're going to be asking, how did you manage to get uh, that fast to the end? And I only have X amount of uh, experience so far. Uh, it's because I basically did all the available objectives uh, that were coming out so far. Uh, except that today I only did a few that I needed to get there uh, and I wanted to do it for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, I did it because most of the objectives that were coming out were easy and most of them were involving team of the season players. So I was grinding those as well. And uh, because when I first saw these players, uh, Götze, Pedro and Umtiti, at the beginning, they looked really nice. Uh, but then the amount of time uh, that you needed to get to these players, I wanted to see how far uh, deep we're going to be into team of the season and if these players are going to be usable. Uh, so today is basically I think uh, the uh, day that if you were doing all the objectives you could possibly uh, achieve any of these players. So we have uh, one from Bundesliga, one from Premier League and one from La Liga which is basically the three leagues with Bundesliga being released today that have been released in team of the seasons. Uh, so um, I'm thinking maybe EA did that so uh, when, if possible, you were able to reach this point, uh, you were ready, would know uh, the team of the seasons for their respective leagues and see if there are other players that you might want to get instead of uh, a certain player and not choose him and choose somebody else. But if that was the case, for me, uh, getting these cards now seemed like they're a bit behind the curve with all these powerful cards that we're getting in the team of the season. I think FEA was purposely making them to get them at least uh, after these three leagues were released. They should have boosted them a bit more. For me, when I first saw it, I saw this Pedro. It looked fantastic. Uh, four star, five star, high, high. Uh, good face stats, um, good pace, uh, good shooting, um, good passing, great dribbling, uh, and all right physicals. So this card looked really nice uh, when we first saw it. That was like uh, three, four weeks ago. Can't remember how much that was before team of the season started but now with uh, the right wings that we got in the premier league team of the season uh like with mares uh or with uh, adama or with salah uh, this card doesn't look that great now on the other hand this card is a free card so that kind of weighs out you know the choices if you weren't lucky to pack one of those cards Obviously, this could uh, be a, a card that you really want to put in your team. But nonetheless, they could have boosted him a few stats more, a few ratings more, and make him not equal, but more close to the curve of uh, the cards that are used uh, in uh, Ultimate Team right now. But uh, out of the three choices, this is the least boosted card. Uh, the other two have an 82 base card and uh, no special cards. This from TD has an 86 base card and has one player moments to 87. So basically from his latest card is only three ratings. So it's not much of a boost. Uh, they could have given him a bit more or maybe they could have chosen another card. Um, as with uh, this from TD, I already completed the Eder Militao flashback, which is a much, much better card. Uh, and there are so many other cards that came out in the team of the season with uh, Carlos and Ramos and Varane that are so much better and there are some other cards that are still might be better than this even though they're not team of the seasons from uh, la liga so the only reason that you would probably pick this from tiri is going to be for sentimental reasons or because you like him because it's your team or something like that this is probably uh going in line with my player as well i also like that dynamic image so this is the player that we're going to pick for today's video and have a quick review on him all right so we have uh, maria gotze uh, I've added them to the team. Obviously, there are so many ways that you can link this card, especially with the team of the season that just came out. But I'm just going to box them in with these two icons uh, just to make a quick team. So let's have a look. Uh, we have uh, Mario Goetze from uh, Dortmund. Um, a very nice looking card. But like I said, with Bundesliga uh, being released today, the team of the season, there are already three cams. Uh, that was uh, Royce, Muller and Havertz that already look uh, much, much better than this card. Uh, obviously, they're uh, expensive uh, if you don't have the coins. I think the two of them are around 400k and uh, Royce will be the more expensive one going over 1 million. Uh, so those were going to be a more uh, they're going to be much better cards on their stats. So I'm not going to compare them to other cards. We're just going to have a look at how this card uh, plays in game. And if it's this, if this card is a good card to uh, choose and add to your team. Uh, so uh, high medium, which is great work rates. Uh, obviously, this guy is going to be played as a cam. 
and I might also want to try him as a striker as well uh, with four star skills and four star weak foot. Uh, we have overall pace 87 with uh, 87 shooting, 93 passing, 94 dribbling and 78 physical. So uh, his pace is 91 acceleration, 82 sprint speed. Uh, from his 82 base card to this 90, we have 88 ratings. So we have about 53, I think, base stats and about 220 in-game stats. Uh, not a lot of in-game stats, so I think here is EA where could have given him a bit more um, uh, in-game stats, so like his sprint speed, maybe his finishing, his shot power, something like that. Just maybe boost him a bit more, especially in this uh, pace. The differential there is very high. So for that, I went with the Hunter and we get 99 acceleration and plus uh, 10 in sprint speed to 92, just because his sprint speed is a bit low to be used at this time in the game. Uh, so now it's looking uh, very nice. Uh, we have shooting overall 87 with 93 positioning to 98, uh, a bit low finishing in shot power. So we get plus five to 92 and we get plus 10 to 97 shot power, which is uh, much, much better. A bit low on long shots to 81 and good volleys maxing out at 99. Uh, so passing, we have overall 93, great passing with good vision at 95, good short pass and good long pass and good curve as well. So those four important stats looking really nice uh, with crossing at 89 as well. Uh, dribbling is going to be the highest stat, very nice at 94 with agility 90, balance 92, 94 reactions, 98 ball control, 92 dribbling and 95 composure. So everything 90 and above with agility at 90 being the lowest stat, but it's very high. With him being especially um, not very tall, uh, he's actually a bit short. So that agility and balance, dribbling, uh, ball control, all that will make him feel, I think, very agile in game. Uh, no defending, but there are some interceptions there at 70. Uh, good marking as well. No standing tackle, but a bit of slide tackle. So he might be able to assist a bit in defense, although with uh, high, medium, he's not going to be assisting that much uh, tracking back. And his physical is a bit low at 78 overall, uh, but that's going to be jumping at 64, which really wouldn't matter. Uh, but stamina 88 for a central cam at this stage in the game might be a bit questionable. Uh, that's something I want to see in game. And his strength at 80 is all right uh, with aggression at 65. So the other thing that you can add to this card instead of a hunter could be a hawk. Uh, you will go to sprint speed 87, not uh, 92 an acceleration to 96 so that's going to be a, again a good speed i think and good pace for a cam at this stage in the game you'll get your shooting stats and you get a, a bit in strength and a bit in aggression as well you get plus five in strength to 85 and plus 10 in aggression to 75 so that might balance him out a bit uh, in the traits we have the flare and the finesse shot which is a nice trait to have especially the finesse shot he doesn't have outside the foot uh, that I think Pedro has, but still finish shot is nice for you to be able to take some finish shots. So all in all, it looks like a really nice card. So let's take him into a couple of games of the champions and test this card out. All right, here we go with our first opponent, a full gold team. I haven't seen one of those in a while, but it's full of meta cards and I'm always kind of skeptical about these teams. They always give me a hard time. Anyways, for the first game, we're going to go in the 4-2-3-1 formation. I'm going to try out uh, Storyline Mario Gotze in the central camp position uh, with uh, no instructions uh, and we'll see how his um, high medium, I believe it is, uh, plays in game. There's Gotze. Gets the wall. Good dribble. No. Can pass there. There's Mario Gotze. Good dribble. Good pass. Fantastic pass. But Gonna finish there. There's Mares. Good pass to Gutsa there. There he is with a nice drag back. Good ball roll. Another one. Good stop. There we go. No, that shouldn't have shot that. There he is again. Shoot. Oh my god, that was a finesse shot. The power behind that. Look at that. Wow. Good power there. A nice shot. Go, go to nice. Came all the way back to assist in defense. Morris. Nice. There he is. Again. It's high up. Fernandinho. Again. Good set. Good possession of the ball there. Yes, he cannot be dispossessed. What was that? What in the world was that? 
Nice. Go. Hit it. Nice. Again, to good sir. Again, nice. Drag back. There he is. There he is again. Go. Make the run. There it is. Good ball to Fatty. What the hell is happening with my players? They're all stupid or something. Again. There he is. Shoot. Great finish once again. I don't know what's happening in this game, but we scored another goal. And this guy's probably gone. And there we go. So, uh, although he gave me a tough game, I don't think uh, because of him. Maybe, I don't know. EA Mechanics, once again. Uh, another weird game, but um, it was a fantastic uh, performance by Mario Gotze as a central cam right there with uh, the 9.3 highest rating, probably man of the match, uh, with two goals, uh, five on five shots on target, amazing finishing, uh, and um, eight on eight passes, 11 of 15 dribbles, uh, three failed tackles, and minus three on fitness, nothing really there. Uh, but uh, some good tracking back, although with those medium work rates on defense, it was still able to come back and help. And he was quick to uh, track back on attack and uh, get those two goals in. So that was very, very nice. So let's go into another game. All right. So here we go with our next opponent. A very nice. Uh, what is it? Uh, a lot of everything in there. Even uh, Argentina, uh, Copa Libertadores and the Argentinian League with uh, Neymar and Mbappe up top. So for this next game, we're gonna try the same thing. We're gonna go in the 4-2-3-1 formation. I'm gonna play storyline Mario Gotze in the central camp position with no instructions. Go, get that goal, get it. Nice, there it is, nice. Romarino, shoot and score. There we go. I don't know how, what the hell happened there. We won the ball back and we got a goal. To Romarino, to Gotze. Shoot, shoot. There we go. We get it a lucky bounce back, or a block anyways, and Mario Gotze scores again. Again to Gotze. Shoot. Ooh, what a finish. His shot is amazing. Very, very powerful. Nice. We had to get scored on there. Gotze. What a ball. Get it, get it, Romarino. Let's go. Another one. Oh my god, what? <laughs> That's good, sir. It's a great pass to Fernandinho. Can he go in? Yes, he can with pure strength, but let's go again. Ooh, what a ball by God, sir. Wow. What a ball. Oh, no, he saved it. I screwed that up. <laughs> get it, get it, get it, get it. Nice, Sansa Fati. Good ball there. What a ball to Orsitz. And we kill the game at 4 2. What a pass. Go to. Let's go. There's Mowers. Good pass to go to. Finish. Oh, what a finish. Come on. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, wow. What a. That was a great dribble there by Mario Gotze. It's inside again. Uh, it cuts him there. And again, this guy has lost the plot. And Fati, the great ball to Mares. Finish. Yes. 6 5, the end. All right. And we have a perfect 10 for Mario Gotze, man of the match for this uh, game again. Three goals, uh, no assists, five on five shots again, 100% completion. Uh, amazing performance. 10 and 17 passes. I don't know what really happened there. I felt that he didn't miss that many. 18 on 23 dribbles, uh, no crosses, and one on two tackles. One, what an amazing performance once again by Mario Gotze. Uh, I really, really like this card. Uh, let's go back and have a look at it. So we have storyline uh, Mario Gotze. What an amazing little card this is. Uh, at the beginning, I thought that uh, I really didn't need any of the three options, so I was just gonna pick one and do a review for you guys You know to have a, a look at how this card plays in game. But with two games and uh, two goals in the first game, three goals in the second. So in two games, he scored five goals as a central cam. I mean, uh, it's looking like a favorite of mine and I probably am gonna find a way to stick him in the team. Uh, so 
it was an amazing performance by him. Uh, we played him in the 4-2-3-1 as a central cam. Uh, what I was doing is playing Romarini up top and uh, taking out Kaká at the beginning um, and using in uh, Fernandinho as a secondary cam, uh, CDM, sorry. Um, and he played uh, the central cam with no instructions, not Kaká. Got it. So, uh, what do we have? His speed is not all there, uh, although his acceleration goes to 99 and his sprint speed to 92. You don't really feel him that he's that kind of pacey card. He feels a bit less. He feels somewhere in the 80 something. But for me, still, it was enough pace as a central cam uh, to make a run or try to avoid some players. Uh, his passing was very, very good. He was there. Uh, but what stands out for me is going to be the shooting and the dribbling. Uh, now, the dribbling is uh, very, very nice on this guy. He feels like he's supposed to uh, feel like you read the stats, you get the same. Uh, very agile, very quick to turn to stop and change directions, uh, very quick to control the ball. Uh, and uh, with that great composure, he's very, very hard to get off the ball. Uh, his strength, uh, aggression, uh, his physical and all didn't play any part of it, except that stamina um although the first game we didn't play uh we played like 50 60 minutes the second game we played the whole game uh, towards the end he was kind of gassed out but not to a point where i thought that i needed to sub him out maybe if it was a more uh, even game maybe i, I would have subbed him out towards the end maybe the last 10 minutes or something like that but uh, i felt like he was giving everything for uh, 80 minutes and if i didn't have any other options i will probably keep him there for 90 minutes and i will still have no problems uh, his trade, the finesse shot, we did have an excellent, uh, was it one or maybe two? We did have uh, an excellent shot, which was amazing. Then we come to the other part, which is fantastic on this card, and it's his shooting. Although he only has 87 finishing and 87 shot power, which goes to 92 and 97 with the chem style. These two feel like they're 99. I mean, I don't know what's uh, with this card, but they feel amazing. His shot power is there even in his finesse shot. And this straight shot is fantastic. Very, very uh, powerful shot that doesn't leave a lot of options to the goalkeeper. That's why he's able to score so many goals uh, because his shooting is excellent. We had five on five shots in the first game and five on five shots in the second game, which uh, says everything 100% completion and shooting accuracy. So I really, really like this card. I really rate this card. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be this good, but I really like this card. I think it's a great card. So I'm going to keep him as a central cam because this card is really, really nice. So if you're not invested in any of the cards in a personal way uh, or because you need a personal card to fit in a certain position in your team and you reach this level, I recommend this Mario Goza is a fantastic card. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.